into the groove. Gotta get into the groove. Whoops. Good job there, plastic. Hello boys and girls, welcome back to my channel. To be completely honest, the only reason I'm making this video is because I was bored and I wanted to paint my face. I'm kind of in the mood to do some kind of like crazy pink eye, pink eye, pink, pink makeup look. Not, I don't, I don't fancy get pink eye. Oh, it smells so good. This is the Arbon RE9 Brightening Serum. I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna use that. This. Um, this is the Bybe Strawberry Booster. I don't actually know what it does, but it makes my skin feel good. Oh my god. Oh. And that is never gonna come off my leggings. I feel really weird today. Okay. Okay. Mm -mm. mm -mm. <laughs> I'm just gonna spray this on me. This is the Candy Cosmetics. Where is all my stuff? Oh, it's literally right in front of me. <laughs> oh, I don't even need this. Do you know what? I just need to calm down. Do you know what, Lizzie? Take a breather. Just calm down. I'm gonna put some of the Victoria's Secret Goodnight Kiss mask on my lips. I am gonna go in with my Too Faced Born This Way foundation. No! No! Well, that's upsetting. I've got enough. Okay, I'm gonna use the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. This is super thick, by the way. Um, I normally wouldn't wear this if I was going out, but purely because I'm not even going anywhere. I'm just gonna work it on there. Like, why is there so many like little bits on me? You can sit with us. Gonna apply a little bit more under my eyes. I'm actually gonna use my finger to tuck that in just because then no product gets stuck on a brush or beauty blender. Excuse me. Now I'm gonna use the May Banana Setting Powder. And apparently I'm gonna use way too much. Just gonna brush you away. I'm only gonna brush away partly and then just with the remainder that's on my face, I'm just gonna wet my beauty blender with my Urban Decay All Nighter. And then, just gonna press that into my under eyes, just so that it's super, super set. Because that means if we get any fallout from our eye look, it will be really easy to brush away. Perfecto. I have got makeup all over me and not just my face. I'm just gonna use my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder just to set the rest of my face. I'm gonna go in my Jouer Sunkissed Bronzer. Ooh, the best bronzer in the world. What are we thinking of Love Island, guys? As much as I didn't like the concept of Winter Love Island, like I thought it was just kind of like, you're clearly just trying to money make. I am admittedly enjoying it at the moment. I really like uh, Shauna and who else? Shawnice, I like Shawnice. I do like Naz as well. I think he's really funny. Oh my god, okay. Goodbye. Still getting the hang of nose contours. I think I haven't practiced it because I never used to do a nose contour. I've only been doing them for 
a couple of months and I'm really not doing so well in my opinion. I've never done, because my nose is such an awkward shape. It doesn't look like it from the front, but from the side. And I've just never been able to do a good nose contour. Just to give you an insight into how long that took, I started this nose contour at 7.40 and it is now 7.58. 18 minutes to do a rubbish nose contour. Just of course using my Too Faced Cocoa Contour, which I probably need to get a new one of since it is falling apart. That's really sad, I've had this for years. I bought this in Mallorca when I went with like, was it Mallorca or was it Madrid? I think I bought this in Madrid in Sephora in when I was like in year nine. Have I had this that long? I probably shouldn't be using this anymore. It says 12 months. This is, yeah. I mean, it's still going strong. I've still got product left. I feel like that May banana powder has turned my under eyes just a little bit yellow. So I'm just gonna go in my Ofra Oil Control Press Powder just to make it a bit more bright rather than yellow. I think I'm just gonna chisel out my cheekbone just with a bit of this powder. I may have just made my face look really weird, but oh well. Okay, before I do eyes, I am just gonna set my face or not. No wonder I'm out. I use bucket tons of that stuff. Okay. When I say I want to do a pink look and this color is in one of your palettes, I have no doubt I'm using that. Let's go. So this is the Revolution Forever Flawless Constellation palette. Holy moly. That's a lot of pink right there. Just gonna buff it out as usual with a clean brush. Now I'm gonna dip into retrograde, which is kind of like a like plummy purpley color. And I'm just gonna put that a little bit closer to the crease just to deepen it out. This is gonna be one hell of an eye look. I look crazy. I'm gonna go on head, go on head, go on head. Wow. I'm just gonna whack that on there, and I'm gonna go ahead and cut my crease. We love a bit of crazy over here. How pigmented did the how pigmented is this palette though? Like for real. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get retrograde again, this dark colour, dark plummy colour, pack that in my outer corner, but not take it all the way up to where the cut crease is. And then I'm gonna get Venus again, this bright pink. I'm gonna pack that in the middle. And then, from my Kat Von D Alchemist Holographic Palette, I'm gonna take um, Opal. They all call up, can't, blah, blah. wow, wow, what? They all kind of look the same in this palette, but when they light hits them, they all are really holographic. And this is the pink one. You'll see what I mean. And I'm gonna pack that in the inner corner on the lid and take it round like to my actual inner corner. I might wet the brush. There we go. There she is. Just kind of blending that, um, the edge of this 
cut crease as well so it doesn't quite look so harsh where it ends. I'm just going to blend out the bottom. I'm just going to take the purple kind of round to follow the cut crease. So it's kind of a bit more cat eyed. So now what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to get just any old black from any old palette. This is just my Morphe palette. Just going to get my black. And I'm just going to draw where I kind of want my liner to be. And then I'm going to smoke it out. Because I don't want there to be like a defined line. So I'm just going to get the face white. And I am just going to make that a nice line. That was pretty good. I'm just going to dust that away. It should dust off really nicely because we set all of that before, which it did. So I've had these sat on my desk for a really long time. I think they came in like a nail kit that I got when I was like seven. And there's these just these tiny little packets of jewels and they came they come in like heart shapes in circles in like loads of different colors as well oops um i kind of want to use some i might use the hearts just because i mean we're going a little bit crazy so we might as well go full out and i'm gonna get some eyelash glue i don't know how i'm gonna do this maybe tweezers Ooh, I'm just gonna pop them slightly below where I've done the cut crease. I think I'm gonna stick with three actually. This is the Benefit Roller Liner. I'm gonna go under my eye with that bright pink. I'm gonna go off camera and do the other eye. Also put some mascara and lashes on as well and I'll be right back with you. Okay, highlights. I think I am gonna go in. Where is my brush? Donde esta? Oh my God, I didn't even put blush on. I'm just gonna use the Clinique blush in Precious Posy. I'm gonna go for Starburst. Get that in there. Oh, I like. I like that. I like. Keep it low. I've realized why these Primark lip pencils are only a pound. I've been using this for like. I think I've used this maybe like less than 10 times and it's already gone down to a nub. A nub. Ooh. Does that match? Let's see what we can do. I know for a fact I've actually got a lipstick that Like it wherever it's going. I think I've just gone crazy. I I've I'm I've lost the plot. I have lost the plot. That's better. Just use a bit of a darker lip pencil, and then I am just gonna go in with my L'Oreal lip paint. And then just to make it a little bit more nude rather than pink, I'm going to go in my Huda Beauty lip strobe in Ritzy. Okay, I'm going to go change my top and my hair and I'll be right back with you. 
So I have no idea what just happened to my face, but I kind of like it. I like this look. It is crazy, but it's still pretty. This is simply the result of being really bored late at night. This is what happens. That's pretty much all I have to say. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I definitely did. I had fun making this look. It was, it was pretty cool. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope you have a good one, guys. See you later. See you later. Oh my God, I'm so weird. See you later. I don't like that either. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a good one, guys. Bye.